price. Let's check them out over the last five years. Now, this is what I like to see. <laughs> Almost at brand new highs. I, you know, their chart. I, their high was 53.38. So we're, we're about $2 away from all time high. Beautiful. Gives us a, eh, not the highest, but whatever. If you're, what, in the year the low was 90. So the, what, that is 60, 70% return. That's not bad. Um, and a 2% quarterly, which is that just adds to the benefit. Let's check their profile out. 72% ownership. It's a little low for my liking. But uh, let's check out. Let's see what their investor. What is this? There we go. There we go. Okay. Financials, quarter results, no, 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 no. Huh. No, they do not. <laughs> Okay, here we go. You can choose three different ways of uh, obtaining your dividend. Uh, direct deposit to your bank. Directly deposited to your mutual fund account or sent to you by check. So basically, it's all the same thing. You can put it into your bank account, they can send it to your bank account, or they can send it to you in a check. So I basically said the same thing three different times. Um, where is... Like their dividend history. This is this is under their investor resources. So I'll try to. Um, if anyone hears me, I'm saying if you can see it, just let me know. Say, Eric, there it is. <laughs> just kidding. Obviously, you can't because this is a recording. If I no, let's go overview again. Let's expand this a little bit. Investor resources. No. Uh, no. No. We got the whistleblower hotline. So if you know of, of anyone doing anything they're not supposed to, make sure you give them a call and blow the whistle on them. Uh, well, they do not show us their their history uh you know got some pictures of some people outside on a hot day throwing trash <laughs> all right let's see if we can find anything else we'll go to their quarter results maybe they'll show us here nope in reports let's see
Mm -mm. Look at this. Parents putting on a financial facade are more reluctant to discuss money with their kids. What is th what? As a black person, right? I disagree 110% prioritize money conversation with kids more than other racial groups. Let me see this. I, I, I literally almost have to laugh at this. This is a, the, the biggest crap I've ever heard in my life. I've been around black families, you know, for quite some time. I'm 37 almost right now. And this is the complete opposite of what I've, I've experienced. Um, I've experienced black families don't talk about saving, spending wisely, or setting financial goals and family finances. Because if that were the case, then I don't, I don't, this is not a political, uh, sorry, I shouldn't even saw that. This is about finance. This isn't about Eric's opinion. I apologize. Um, yeah, as we see, we, they don't really say anything with their finances. I mean, you can look through reports, but that's not going to do you guys any good. Uh, policies management commitment committee and uh, whistleblower hotline. Nope, I don't see it. So let's go back over here. We'll just do a brief little overview. 72% um, institutional ownership. They're at basically brand new highs and they give us a what? 2.3% uh, dividend or yield on our on our investment. 